What is up humans? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cutting for you guys this beautiful piece of honeycomb Ethiopian opal. Uh, looks like it's a semi-crystal. It's got nice honeycomb play color all the way across the face. Got that nice rust of red, gold, and green going on. We love it. It's a little bit of a weird shape, but you know, we gotta make it work. But if you shine a light through it, you can see that it's pretty clean up in there. So it should make us a nice cut. When we weigh this out, it weighs a uh, clean 1.8 grams, which is nine carats. Now we're going over to my Dremel and I always use a dust mask and wear glasses. Very important to use safety gear. Now I'm starting on this rough grit uh, diamond bit piece here. I'm not sure what grit this actually is, but it's a pretty coarse one. And so we're just basically roughing out the shape here. So once I finished shaping it, it ended up being a nice teardrop. I got the rough shape here. And now I'm going to go over to the black Nova Point bit and shape it out a bit more. Now keep in mind when you're using the black Nova Point that you're still doing shaping and that before you start on this bit, it can be a bit rough as long as you're careful in this stage and the stages after, it can be a nice shape. Now moving on to the brown Nova Point diamond impregnated tip and just doing a little bit more shaping. All right, now that I moved on to, from that, we are going to the gray Nova Point here. And this one is going to start its polishing and it just really make sure to dry it off and make sure that there's no scratches in between. Now, moving on to the pink diamond grit Nova point. Uh, this is a 3000 grit point, and this one is really gonna polish our stone before the real polishing, and so make sure that there's no really visible scratches after this point.
Now we're moving on to the real polishing with our diamond grit pastes. And this is a diamond lapidary paste from Kent Supply at a 5 micron grit paste. And now moving on to the 3.5 micron grit paste. And now this is the 2.5 micron diamond grit paste. Now it's time for the 1.5 grit paste. the one micron grit paste. And then the 0.5 micron diamond grit paste. And then finally finishing it off, before the cerium oxide I did off camera, this is our 2.5 Kent Supply Diamond Grit Paste. And this right here is the reason most people use dopping sticks instead of their hands. But we are finally coming to a close in this here video, and I'm going to show you guys the final reveal. She is beautiful, much more crystal than I had originally anticipated, but the flash is there and stunning. It rolls a lot more than I would like because it is a honeycomb and honeycombs usually fare better with a flat face and I gave this a nice dome because I could give it a dome and why not? Domes are nice. And the back's nice and flat, you could see that good honeycomb on the back there, but the real color comes through in the face because I did orient it the right way, thank goodness. And now it's time for the final weighing. And it is 0 0.32 grams, which is 1.65 carats, and you know, that's not so bad at all. We lost a total of 7.35 carats in the cutting, and I'll give you a little before and after action here. Here's the piece before we cut it, and again, I'll show you the piece after we cut it. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope that you guys subscribe, give it a like, and if you enjoy this content, please stick around, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.